Hello everyone, Scott Laird here from Royal Oaks Country Club. I want to introduce you to a brand new product from Y Golf. It's the Bunker Mate, and uh, it's a pretty unique uh, product in that you can use it indoors or outdoors. It helps you simulate uh, the feel of hitting a bunker shot. So I want to uh, kind of demonstrate uh, what I feel like are some fundamentals in being a good bunker player. The great thing about this product too is it comes with a couple foam balls if you want to use them indoors. I've already tested it inside uh, my house and I've hit my picture a couple times and no, no damage, so my wife's happy with that. But uh, let's just kind of focus on a couple fundamentals uh, in order to be a good greenside bunker player. So first and foremost would be we want to open the club face. Now, when we open the club face or point the club face to the right for a right-handed golfer, what that's doing is that's helping us uh, use more of what we call the bounce or the trailing edge of the golf club versus when we square the face up, we use too much of the leading edge. When we use the bounce or the trailing edge, that helps the club to skip through the sand rather than dig, okay? So we want to open the club face, then take our grip. We don't want to take our grip and then open the club face. That's an important point. So open the club face first, take your normal golf grip. And then with this shot here, we call it a specialty shot. It's, it's not a normal uh, setup that we would have if we were making a full swing. So we're going to go ahead and widen our stance. We're going to get a little bit farther away from the ball and we're going to lower our hands. As I heard somebody say once, we want to feel like we're a sumo wrestler getting ready to fight, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set up with a wide stance, hands nice and low. And then what we're going to feel, and you can see this in the video, is we're going to feel like we are uh, have a majority of our pressure on our lead leg. And we're going to keep it there throughout the entire motion. Now the only other key I have here is we're going to make a fairly full swing, but the release habit when we hit a good bunker shot is one where we want the club head to feel like it's passing the hands. This is different than in a full swing or a chip motion where we feel like the hands lead the club head. Okay, So let's uh, give it a go here. So I've got my wide stance, low hands, club face open. Fairly full swing, and I'm going to let the club head pass my hands. Felt like a greenside bunker shot. Thank you.